what is going on people tunji again from Cesar graphics welcome to my channel and i want to welcome you to my how to use background series okay if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and remember to ring the bell so you will be notified when i post my tutorials So this was the design sent to me by one of my group members so i want to thank money man for posting the design in a group so what i noticed on these designs are not too much but um so let's go to my slide so as to explain the things that made this design not to be successful okay so i put it here that the design is too busy and there's no space next is um and I realized that the picture used did not go with the theme of um, the artwork and also the shape used did not connect with the company's brand all right now I realized that most of we designers always make this mistake when you're using a shape in a project most especially, most especially for corporate organization it's always good to pick the shape from the logo when you come up with another shape most times it doesn't work it's always good to pick the shape from is either the logo or the pattern of the company and also I realized that the layout lacks energy all right everything looks somehow um, you know things the, the alignment is not balanced there's no enough space everything is just looking too choked so that's one other thing I realized again and then I realized that italics was used here um, you don't just use italics on right tops all right the time you're supposed to use italics is when you are trying to use say so, this is a writer all right or you are trying to say this information is not really important all right and on a project like this i realized that the information you i'm sure you know that the informations here are very very critical they are very very important so when you are making your text italics you are telling people that this information is not something too important when you're asked to come up with a um, project like this one advice i will always give you is try as much as possible not to hurt yourself all right don't put yourself under pressure okay when you are working on a project like this, like this one of the things i always do is i always try as much as possible to check out um the artwork from the competitors all right so th if since this is for a bank all right what i what i normally do is i always go online to check out designs from banks what their design normally look like their layout and everything then i'll put this in my project so when you're working on uh, projects for organizations my advice for you is to try as much as possible to make it simple because the people the target people that uh most organizations always try to pass their message to are uh, elderly people and most of all these elderly people uses glasses so when you make your design too busy you make everything too choke the information that they need to get from that artwork will not be passed to them so it's always advisable to make your design simple enough for people to be able to see what you have on it so let's go straight to the color that we are going to be using on this project okay so this um is the color that we are going to be working on so i will actually get this color from the logo of the company i'm only going to be using one application to achieve this project and i'm going to be using just photoshop so this is the exercise file i'm going to be using for this project because um what the project is actually talking about is educating the young ones that's the youth on how savings can help their future the concept behind this picture is to make it look like the activity is actually going on in this school all right so the attention on the students faces on the person talking to them teaching them how savings can help them and that's the reason why i use this um, picture all right so this is the design brief for uh, this project without any further ado let's jump into today's tutorial all right so i'm going to be creating a new document Click on file and select new. So for this document, I'm going to be using um, A4. So to get the A4 paper size, I need to go to international paper. And um, next is to leave everything the way they are. And I'm just going to call this. Going to say okay. 
So next is to bring in the picture from the exercise file. So I'm just going to drag that and drop here like so. So next is to scale this big. Uh, yeah, because um, the I can use the picture of this lady here because she's not uh, paying attention. So I am going to uh, move her out from the frame. And this is another thing again. Now this lady here also is not paying attention. So these are all the things you need to always check when you are using an image on your project. So this may not make it work, all right? All right, because this lady here may make it look like the information is not really important. So what I'm going to do is to scale this a little bit more to take her out of the frame. Then I'm going to position this somewhere here, all right? I like the expression on this lady's face, all right? If I move this here, uh, this may not work because I'm actually looking at putting my information on this side okay so I'm gonna move this back to about this point all right I think so um, I like the expression on this lady's face but if I use this lady's picture just the way it is I'm not use this it will look uh, like a student anymore I need to have this lady's picture as part of my scene I can't put my text on this picture like this. If I try to put my text on it like this, you see, it's not working. So what do I need to do? Uh, if I put it there, it's not working. So I'm going to delete this. All right. Now, when you are working on a project like this, try as much as possible to see how you're going to make everything simple. The information on this background alone is making the design look too busy. So we need to find a way to kill that busy look so as to make our information stand on the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just crop out the picture of this lady and this lady out from this um, background. So what I'm going to do is I need to scale them um, a little bit more like so. And I'm just going to position this somewhere around here like so. So I think I'm okay with this. I'm going to um, select the pen too. Okay, so this is good. I'm gonna save the marquee selection. So I'll go to selection and I'll say save and I'll call the next i'm gonna say okay i'm gonna come here and i'm just gonna pick this shade of color i'll create a new layer i'll call this white and i'll say okay then i'll hit hold backspace to fill that layer with the color add a layer mask then i'm going to select the gradient to make sure you're on the layer max box like so so this is not bad then i'm going to add a layer max to the layer of the students and i'm just going to select brush the next is to um, bring back that selection so i'm going to say load and i'll choose students here and say okay then i'm going to select the layer max of that um, white layer that i created earlier and i'm going to hit ctrl shift i to inverse the selection and I'll hold on alt because my foreground color is set to black because I need to apply that black color to the layer mask. So I'm just going to select alt and backspace. So then I realize that I have these sharp edges uh, on the layer mask. I need to add feather to this so as to smooth it. So I'm going to just move this to something around here. Now you see as I'm increasing it, I'm having a smooth blend edges this is actually my focus here so i need to take this lady out okay a copy of the layer i always like to have backups when i'm working okay so i'm going to select the um, layer of this one i'm just going to call this so i'm going to go to filter blur field blur i'm going to move this here and change this back to zero and add another pin here and this should um, go up a little bit to about 21 okay adjust the color of the pictures select the hue saturation 
and I'm going to I'm going to say I'm just going to push this down all right just to reduce the color on the students and I'm gonna to go to the call adjustment and just drag this down and push this up like so all right so I'm gonna select color balance and add a little bit of red to this all right uh, yeah so the picture of the student is too dark so I'm going to go to brightness and just increase the brightness just a little bit so I'm just going to dial this up to about this point and this the contrast like so so next is to start adding our information I hope you learned something today and if you have not subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button remember to like share with your friends i'll see you in my next tutorial peace